Oh, shit. I'm gonna stop running, I think. Where do you think you're going, Eric? <gasps> shit! Run! Run! Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Bazaars Part 11. I'm your host, Mefu. So, the last episode, we saved Dolores' baby and returned it to its rightful place. We also navigated a labyrinth. David Bowie would be so proud of us. Now we're on the final chapter. At least I think it's the final chapter. I'm not sure actually. It should be the final chapter. So let's have a look. Taking his eyes and we'll begin the chapter. You oh fuck off, radio. Fuck off. Where was I? Taking this <laughs> this item will begin a chapter. You will not be able to begin a different chapter until you've completed this one. Pick up the item. I'll cancel that for now. And I might actually swap up one of these pills for another lighter. I don't know how much lighter I have left on my lighter. That doesn't make any sense, but I'm going to stick with it. So now I have more lighter to go with my lighter. And my camera, which never works. But I'm going to take it with me anyway, because I like it. Good to take some pictures, you know, memories and shit. Right, so taking the time and begin the chapter, you'll be able to begin the chapter until you complete this one. Pick up the item. Okay, accept. Oh, I have the crutch. That, that sounded kind of wrong. But I have the crutch. Right, so stop examine. And whose chapter is it? Ooh. Look, hands chapter. We're all seeing eyes. Okay. Whoever the fuck Wakan is, sounds like a nice guy. Or gal. I'm assuming it's a guy. Fuck off, radio. Right. That wheelchair wasn't there before. So let's go investigate over here. Stop trying to kill me when I'm beginning the chapter. God damn it. Oh shit. It suddenly got really bright in here. Or really grey. Contract. <clears throat> Maybe I'll get around the house a bit quicker. If I got some wheels. Um, or maybe not. <laughs> oh. That's a little bright. That's definitely a uh, LED bulb right there. That's what I was talking about earlier, LED bulbs. It'll just make the house so much brighter. This is different. <laughs> Why am I sobbing? Why am I so grey? It's like I'm in a black and Oh shit. It is like a black and white film. It's even got the uh, clipping on it. Um... Right, I'm assuming it's a... Yeah. Is that something you can hit which key unlocks it? I'm assuming it's a linear path. This jumping is really annoying. <gasps> Fuck. Rakan? Is that you, Rakan? I can't go through here. I'm not sure I want to, though. He's, he's a bit naked. Is some sort of dub porn? Dub? <laughs> or should I say snub? What the hell is wrong with this radio? You're telling me. Fucking radio. It's turning itself on. What? What the fuck is this? Oh, it better not be what I think it is! Bastards. What is this?! Who the fuck are you?! Ah, 
I don't see anything on that radio. I think he's crazy. It's locked. Nothing indicates which key unlocks it. Hmm. I mean, I'm getting kind of used to the uh, black and white with the jumping of the screen. But hopefully it will change at some point. Back to normal. Yeah. I don't even think that was meant to be a jump scare, but I actually made a jump. <laughs> is this? There you are, little piece of crap! You think you can get me that easily, huh? Nice try, you fucks! What the fuck do you want, huh? I'm right here! Those little fucks. You think you can find one of me? What the hell is going on? Uh, I'm guessing I'm gonna go the other way, because this is really dark. I'm not gonna go the other way. Oh, I can actually run quite fast. Here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Where am I zooming to? Or zooming to? Ooh. Don't you fucking move, I swear to God! I didn't Stop do it. right there! I said I didn't do it. What? What? Yeah, okay. Um, that was freaky and cryptic and weird. I think I just summed up the game in three words. Wait, freaky, cryptic, and weird. That's four words. Oh, right, I forgot the end. Sue me. <laughs> well, at least everything's not so grey and jumpy anymore. Or clippy. Jumpy or clippy? One of the two. Um. Where to go now? Or can you around here? Or can can is that you? Or can you in here? Or can did I pick up that lighter from downstairs? I can't remember if I did or not. Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Just double checking. Can. Uh oh. Hello. You are just what the doctor ordered. Disintegrate. One of the many comic book pages. I hear it coming from here. But I don't see it coming from here. Okay, I think I found the source of your problem. You seem to have an eye sticking out your door. <clears throat> the door is locked, the eye stuck to it seems to be alive. Yep, yeah, that's definitely a problem. And it's watching me. There seems to be another eye here. Yeah. <laughs> That's gross. I just poked that painting in the eye. This eye's gone. And door's now able to be opened. I'm sensing some sort of pattern. Fuck off, radio. Oh, I can't turn it off. Oh, everything's going grey again. Not again. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, I think I need to go in the wheelchair. Please don't shoot me again. It really hurt the last time. Oh god. Ah. Fucking 
now he's really strong. I didn't realise the ghost was the Incredible Hulk. This went straight for that fucking wall. Dr. Smith? Dr. Smith? Yes, sorry, I'm with you. I have the information you requested concerning the patient that came in tonight. He claims that someone broke into his house and tried to strangle him, and that he used his firearm in an attempt to defend himself. What's weird is that there's nothing in the police report that indicates any break-in. There are some minor bruises on his body, but they all seem self-inflicted. The police also interrogated the neighbor who called the police. She claims to have seen him tossing books from his bookshelves frantically, seemingly searching for something. And what was he searching for? It's hard to tell. He refuses to answer most of our questions, claiming we already know the answers. He believes we're partly responsible for what happened. It's not really surprising. I took a look at his medical background. <clears throat> He's had really bad cases of... Scopophobia. Exactly. Hmm. Thanks, Tim. I'll go and see him right away. Of course. He'll be in the transit wing, room 323 until further notice. He seems agitated. So be careful. Thanks, Tim. Duly noted. Right, so I've woken up inside a hospital. I guess I'm reenacting his story, possibly. What's that? I have no items on me at all. Okay. Can I interrupt with the chair again? Nope. Right. It's time to uh, navigate the creepy hospital. Here we go. Oh god. How do they make a hospital this creepy? Well, I didn't want to go in there anyway. It's jammed. Call to employees. Code white in room 323. Code white in room 323. It's jammed. Code white, huh? Is that where the doctor went? Maybe uh, a can got hold of him. Oh god. Look at this. This is like jump scare city right here. Right here. Must be something I can use. This chair! This chair will defend me. I'm just going to place the chair down again. Right in my way. Right, right or left? Right or left? That says exit, let's go left. What am I saying? <laughs> Okay, so the room's got uh, numbers welcome. So it's going 303. Hello? Anything in here? Nope. 302B there. Let's head towards here. So we can find the right room. Right there. That doesn't sound good. 301. So room's free. 301 or 308 or that way. Meeting room 3F. Down the corridor. That must have some sort of relevance because otherwise I wouldn't have put it on the board. Let's check in here. Nurse station. Oh, don't mind if I do. 
You found a key tagged room at 323. Damn right I did. Anything else? Call to security. Code white. Emergency in room 323. Code white. Emergency in room 323. Right, as soon as I can find room 323, I'll be right there to help. Here we go, rooms 309 to... to 325. Jammed. Jammed? Jammed. Jammed? Jammed. Don't you dare touch me, you fuck! You're not giving us much of a choice here, sir. <laughs> Seize him! Give him the sedative! No! Get off me! Fuck! Oh! Wow. I do have the key. I'll save you, even though you're probably gonna try and kill me in a bit. Oh. The, the door's here. Okay, there must be something in here, otherwise we're gonna came in here. Interact with this brick. There's a key on top of that uh, yellow bin wheelie thingy. You could probably break down the wall with the right tool. My fists? No, not my fists. What I need is Big Bertha for my sledgehammer. I miss that sledgehammer. That sledgehammer was like a sister to me. Hmm. Right, I need to go find the right tool for that uh, wall. If I was a wall destroying tool, where would I be hiding in this one? Fuck. That's never a good sign. Normally means I'm gonna be attacked by something when you see the lights flash. Zoom. Gonna be running. Right, so let's try going to this meeting room at the bottom here. Since it's the darkest place you can possibly go. Yeah, I don't sure I want to go in there. But, I think the game is leading me this way. Is that crying or laughing? So we've got a spanner, wrench, oh, got, and a crowbar. This should help breaking down the hole in room 323. Anything else in here? No. Okay, this door just opened. I'm running out of here. Room 323 was down here, wasn't it? Past the nurse's station. <clears throat> Get a drink of water. This hospital's pretty quiet. In 323. And time to break this down. That doesn't look like you're breaking it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I spoke too soon. That's a strong crowbar. 
cannot store this item. I don't want to store this item, actually. Don't climb through. There we go. Ah, meeting room 3F. You found a key tagged meeting room 3F. Okay. So. Where was that again? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna start running, I think. Where do you think you're going, Eric? <gasps> Shit! Run! Run! That was not running. That was the opposite of running. That was standing still and being choked. I'm like zooming around the hospital the whole time. As soon as I actually want to run, I just start crawling on the ground. Fucking hell. Let's try it again. Yeah, Vrakan doesn't seem very nice at this moment in time, but I'm sure he has a backstory of why he um, became a murdering bastard. We'll, we'll find out. <clears throat> Right, so, let's leave this room for the first time. Pretend that never happened. I never got strangled by a half-naked man. Okay, let's walk slowly and then try and fucking run. When does he appear? Oh, it's this one, isn't it? This is where you think you're going oh, I can run. Run! Oh my fucking god. I don't want to look behind me, I don't want to look behind me. I'm not going to look behind me. Fuck. Oh my god! Is this not the way? Alright. Good night, sweet prince. Alright, he's not behind me anymore. Shit, he is, he is. What do you mean an item is selected? I just selected an item. I just selected a fucking item! Is this not the way? Wait, no, I can see this. I'm not that heavy. I've been cutting down. Oh, there's the meeting room there. Oh. <laughs> I'm kind of glad he had pity on me there because I would have been deaded a thousand times over because uh, I went completely the wrong way and tried to go for the elevator. So uh, yeah, thank you Rakan. It's very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. was that? Please don't strangle me again. What's that? <gasps> A torch. This is what I've always dreamed of having. One of these bad boys. Black spots on the ceiling. I wonder if I stand and I'll become the hope as well. Footprints as well. Lean to that door. And it's one of those demonic hand prints again that's been throughout the whole game. Ooh, a key! You found a key tag transit wing. Yes, I did. So I can't interact with. Oh, okay, it's clipping. I can move it with my body apparently. That's a weird mechanic. Normally they let you interact with it to push it, but whatever. 
Look at these handprints, though. Something sinister has been going on in this hospital. I'm not talking about bikini. What's that? Don't want to be strangled anytime soon. So was there like a sprint button the whole time? Like a stamina meter? Because I didn't know. So this whole time I've been sprinting around and when I've actually had to run away. <laughs> I wasn't able to. that. I feel like he could be lurking anywhere. Do I head towards the exit? I'm pretty sure I should have head towards the exit. I'm gonna smash the fuck out of your face! That was a trick. That's to deter me from not going this way. I'm on to you, game. I'm on to you. Way. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I got the wrong fucking way. No, I didn't. I don't know which way he's coming from. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'll try this anyway, just in case. Oh yeah, thanks for that. Fuck, oh, I'll sprint a tiny bit. I'm so lost. I'm so lost. Okay, exit. I'll go for there. That's the nurse station. Was oh, there someone in there? Oh, no, it's just the plant. He looked like a person for some reason. Or maybe I'm seeing things. That looks like a good place to go. <clears throat> nice and red. <laughs> I'm looking for the exit sign the whole time and look how many there are in this place. Looks like there's like a dozen of them. This lock, nothing indicates which key unlocks it. This key. Oh, it was this key. I was just taking a piss. The exit, yay, I found it. I think it lost it all. My navigation's just insane. Attract. Get the fuck out of here, come on, jump. Jump. Yeah. You can do it. Reminds me of Outlast a bit. Christ. I told you to jump. Your sanity is decreasing fast. I don't think I put it up by standing here. No, I think I'm gonna die. Did this get rid of it? Okay, this is gonna be crazy. The whole house is pitch darkness. Uh, there's barely any lights. And uh, Rakan's probably in here trying to murder the shit out of me. Anyway, I'm gonna end part 11 there. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in part 12. Take care.